While Portland, Portland loses cops, leaders continue assaults on their own department. They're very schizophrenic. There's a topics report. They're very schizophrenic in that the people who actually make their words mean things. The cops. It's the cops. And for all you cops out there, just so you know, what well, more and more people are turning against you, including the people on the right that used to like you, because you just don't ever say no. Somebody gives you an order and you say yes. You just follow orders. That's all you've done. There's been very, very, very little resistance from the police as far as following these horrible orders that these horrible, oppressive leaders from their little ivory towers have given, especially during Corona bills. Police have lost so much credibility during Corona bills because they've, they've demonstrated again and again their willingness to execute just unjust and unenforceable laws putting themselves and others at mortal risk to satisfy their unaccountable masters. Portland Police Department reportedly losing officers in droves. This is from Yahoo News. And officers have reportedly left since July 2020. Fox News analyst Lauren Jones breaks down what's happening in liberal cities. I guess that's happening in other places too. But stop calling them liberals. They're not liberals. They are they are corporate nationalists through and through. And they would love a corporate nationalist world that is uh, unaccountable to we the people. A uh, situation in which you get to choose which one of your masters is your masters or you don't get to live. Because if you want a job at the highest levels, you're going to have to pick from amongst the corporate, the few corporate nationalists that control most everything. Antifa attacks Portland Police Union amid ongoing unrest. So I want you to get that one. That's from Fox News. So while Antifa is doing that, Portland excludes, and, and then you have this kind of weird, Portland excludes police from $6 million gun violence prevention plan. So Portland gets, it's going to get money for this gun violence prevention plan, but they're going to make sure that the police who have to enforce these gun rules, where they have to literally knock on people's doors to confiscate guns and probably get shot at. I'm, I'm not advocating for that. Please don't do that. It's, it's really not good, but that's probably what's going to happen. But they're not going to get the extra funding to do the extra work. <laughs> really, really awesome. Plan to address gun violence will nearly double Port Portland's park rangers. This is from kptv.com. Group investigates possible racial political violence within pol Portland police, city says. And this is, it's, it's, it's just, these people have no idea. You can't keep attacking your goons. These are your goons. And you're attacking your own goons. You're, you're not you're not issuing policies that anyone of sound mind and body really wants to see happen. Most normal human beings recognize the psychopathic nature of the, of these weird laws that you're now creating and the people that are going to make that possible for you, you're turning on. I guess that's a good thing for we freedomists, but not, not that, I mean, in a sense, I'm not for, for any of these folks being targeted by, by this, racial political bias garbage although to be fair they're probably right There's probably plenty of racial political bias within the portland police department as there is in most police departments most likely but that's a whole other story that 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 would be a long report digging into why well, i would tell you that union says portland park rangers want body armor for patrolling parks wweek.com of course they do but you just put a bullseye on them yeah, you did, because if they're going to enforce these gun laws, yeah, they're going to be hated. They're going to be hated. Portland housing market is insane. Homes going for 100000 over asking. I have no idea. KATU.com. This one makes no sense. Why is, it, why is the value of homes going up in Portland? Well, I would think the opposite would happen, but apparently that's what's happening. And finally, Portland police look for exit, say they're burned out. This is from Fox News. Last year's Portland's police department said it received an unprecedented number of officers leaving their jobs mid-career to take lower-paying jobs elsewhere. And on Sunday, the city's main newspaper published an article that offered a glimpse into some of the reasons why. Uh, yeah, some of the reasons why is they're being asked to do violent, dangerous work while the very people who are asking them to do it are also saying, oh, by the way, you're racist, bigoted, horrible, evil people. Yeah, of course, that's why. <laughs> 